Hey beautiful people, welcome back to our YouTube channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today. So guys, um, today's video I would go slowly so that we can all discuss about how you can migrate to Luxembourg as an international student. I got a message from somebody on Instagram um, telling me that he has been given admissions to study at the University of Luxembourg and would be applying for the visa very soon that is why i am here again to make this video because i believe a lot of people are looking up to me now i'm going to be talking to you on two parts but before i start with these various sections i would like to give you some few points so you understand guys if you're new here please subscribe to the channel if you are new please do not forget to like the video and make sure you share our video as well okay because it's very important to us thank you so much now how are you going to be applying for this visa to luxembourg remember the visa is the d type visa so that is what you need and again you are going to be using the vfs global website now cameroonians nigerians please remember that you have to go through the belgian embassy in abuja i don't know if the vfs global is in abuja or lagos but nigerians you will be checking the belgian embassy's website then cameroonians you'll be checking the belgian embassy's website in cameroon this is what you need to know first of all remember i said you will be using vfs global to apply for your visa to luxembourg so you have to put this into consideration it's so important also remember that the application fee for visa is a 60 euros i beg your pardon 60 euros and you can pay in any currency in as much as you are at the vfs center okay visa takes at least three weeks and uh, three weeks one month it depends on when you apply but remember visa takes at least three weeks now for you to apply for the visa there is something you need i'm going to be giving you documents for visa application then i will also give you documents for you to apply for something they call temporal authorization to stay in luxembourg and funny it is you have to first of all apply to this temporary authorization to stay in luxembourg and there are documents you need you have to apply for it get it before you use it and other documents to apply for the visa now i'm going to be specific here we are going to start like i said you need to apply for temporary authorization first so there are documents you need to have to apply for it remember you have to watch this video to the end so you actually understand some of the things that you may have doubts about i am making this video because somebody actually asked me to do it now for documents to apply for temporary authorization to stay in luxembourg because without this document you cannot apply for the visa yes without temporary authorization to stay in luxembourg you cannot apply for visa so it's so crucial like very important document so put this into consideration now let's go with the documentation all pages of international passport so you need this temporary authorization to apply for visa but to get the temporary authorization there are documents you need to apply for it so these are the documents i'm giving you now before we will go to documents you need for visa okay let's first of all start on how to get the temporary authorization your international passport and i would like to tell you that you need to attach all pages of your international passport if your international passport is maybe 32 pages 20 page 50 pages uh, 40 pages you have to scan all of them all of them and upload they want to see all those pages of your international passport then you also need your criminal record certificate yes without a criminal record you cannot get temporary authorization to stay because they want to be sure that they are not dealing with a criminal or somebody who has been committing crimes in their home country i hope you understand then you need your proof of funds as well to get temporary authorization to stay for proof of funds i'm going to come back because i want to elaborate on so many things here you also need your travel insurance travel insurance is very important for you to get temporary authorization to stay and remember this temporary authorization to stay is going to be sent to you by post all right they are not going to send it online it's not a pdf document they will send to you they need to give you the physical copy because you need the physical copy it's so important you need the physical copy because you are going to add to the documents when you are going to the embassy so they will send it to you by post so make sure when you are applying for this you put in the real address or an address that it will come and you will get it 
because they want to make sure that they send it to you this is why i'm insisting so that you don't make an error it is not an online document they will not send it online and remember there is no visa interview for you to get temporary authorization there is equally no visa interview for you to get uh, your visa for luxembourg there is no interview you just apply then you pray all right that whatsoever the case may be you pray that you get the visa so this is how it is for luxembourg now these are the documents that you need to get temporal authorization to apply before you can apply for the visa then remember i told you before that i'm going to come back to the proof of funds let's talk about the proof of funds now in detail there are three ways you can show proof of funds to study in luxembourg specifically the university of luxembourg one of them is a scholarship you can show a document that you have a full scholarship then you can show a document like a bank loan you can show that you have a bank loan you can equally show your bank statement now you have to be strategic here because like i tell you they are going to verify this yes they would verify this it's not a joke i'm telling you guys they would verify this so you have to be truthful in everything otherwise your visa will be rejected now when you have a scholarship you are just going to use a scholarship letter if you have a loan you can use the loan but sometimes this loan is very technical and i would not even recommend i will tell you which one i will recommend best it's either you do a scholarship if you have a scholarship fully funded excellent 100 percent, i recommend it but if you don't the only option you can use is a bank statement you can use your own bank statement or you can use a bank statement of your sponsor and remember your sponsor can be your father or mother don't go for external sponsors because they are going to verify this i'm telling you and if you are using your sponsor maybe your father or mother you can use uh make sure their credentials like how are you going to prove you have to prove that they are your parents right you can prove this if you are giving their bank statement you have to prove as well that they are your parents and again if your parents are located in the eu that will be excellent and uh, let's say if they are not in the eu and if you have a sponsor who resides in the eu because they will always verify you can use it because sometimes when you use your parents they might want to know how many siblings you guys are to be sure that the money they are showing that they have it might be enough to take care of all of you and in this case it might be a problem so i think using a sponsor who is in eu is a great advantage now remember i said before that if you are using somebody in the eu be sure to prove relationship it's so important guys and now um if you are using your bank statement of course it's good to go because even if you are using your bank statement is the best option all right is the best option you can always use your bank statement is the best option instead then another option i can recommend is a blocked account like if you have the your, the money in your account is great like you put it in a block way it's still great because i think some people usually open block accounts i don't know how it's done in africa but i know blocks account is possible now remember that this money you still don't know the amount that you need if you go to the their website i'm going to put some links below in the video description box check it very well you will see that they are asking for 80 percent of uh, i think inclusion rate of inclusion rate of luxembourg and if you check 80 percent of inclusion rate of luxembourg that should be like uh, 1201 euro per month all right 1201 euro per month and now you need this money for one year so you multiply the money by 12 to give you the money for one year if you multiply by 12 you are going to get 14,412 euros this is the money you need to have in that your account or in your sponsor's account or more yes now remember um when it comes to the issue of the bank statement it is good that your bank account should be older than maybe six months i don't want to say six months because they didn't specify on the website so since they said one year of inclusion is good that your bank account should be older than one year however please remember that you are not just like taking money from somewhere and dumping in the account a flexible account is an account that has withdrawals inputs like you are putting money and withdrawing money you are using the account okay don't just go and you open an account you leave it there and later on you go and start to like you want to use it for 
visa application they will reject the visa luxembourg doesn't joke especially when it comes to their money now this is for cameroonians and people with fixed currency 14,412 euros for nigerians i know most of us we have but the dollar account i don't know how much the amount is in uh, is in dollar i don't know how much it is in naira so please verify like i said the amount is 14,412 euros that's 80 percent of the inclusion rate of luxembourg which is around 1201 times 12. so if you put all of this together maybe three weeks one month you will get what is called letter of authorization to stay now after getting the letter of authorization to stay this is a time you will now go gather the other documents attached to that letter of authorization then you go and apply for your study visa now the documents that you need remember i said you have to go through the belgian embassy to apply for the visa and you will be going through I think on the Belgian Embassy website, you are going to find something about Luxembourg or VFS Global. You check it out. Then, now, with the documents that you need for the visa application, include one, the temporary authorization to stay is the first document. Then, you also need to attach the application form from the VFS website. Okay, you need the application form from the VFS website, global website. These are document number two. Then, the document number three, you need two recent passport photographs. Then document number four, you need your international uh, passport. All right, you need to now carry your international passport when you are going for submission. Then another document is medical insurance. You need travel insurance. All right, travel insurance is uh, one of those documents that you need in order to be granted the Luxembourg study visa. Then you also need your criminal record. Remember, you also need these documents to get the temporary authorization to stay and you have to be careful guys when you print the criminal record is very important because i think that for most african countries it expires after some time i don't know if for cameroon is three months but please put it into consideration before you print it out before you go for it criminal record is very important then again your admissions letter is also very very important i think these are the documents that you need then the most important part i will always ask international students or i can always recommend is uh, make sure your proof of funds is up to standard because if this money is not enough they will not grant you this uh, visa and trust me when you already got something like uh, if you already have something like uh, your admissions to study in luxembourg it is now high time for you to make sure that every other document is okay if your proof of funds is okay you are good to go nobody is going to reject your visa now put all of this into consideration i know you know what i don't need to explain to you again that luxembourg is one of the richest countries in the european union they have the strongest currency so far so if you are an international student in luxembourg i do not think you have a problem so just study study very well and before you know everything will be okay so this is uh, for the person who was asking me study visa to luxembourg this is what you need and if there is any other question please drop the question in the comment section that is the only place i respond to comments the other ones on instagram and facebook i only do videos about them so other people can watch and also benefit i hope this video helps you till we meet again in another one bye, -bye.